Hello, hope everyone's doing good today. Today we're going to be looking at the Coveco Brass Sport. I have to be honest, it's probably or it feels probably like one of those pens which I should not have bought. I bought this pen at the end of last year, right when we were kind of in the middle of the COVID uh, period. Not too sure when this COVID uh, period is going to end, so. Um, and it was meant to be a travel pen. I mean, we all know, you know, having a pocket pen, what it means, especially a one made of brass, it's meant for, you know, kind of to throw into um, like a travel pack with a journal, preferably leather, and, you know, go, f go, for, go for adventures with. However, uh, this being COVID, uh, period this pen never got to travel um, what it's been doing it's been kind of been sitting in my pen case uh, gathering a patina okay so before we get into the pen let me show you what the pen came with um, came in a box um, as you can see I bought the pen in fine not too sure why they called out that the box was made in China, but there you go. So the pen itself is made in Nuremberg in Germany. And it's an outer case uh, of cardboard. And then inside you get like a kind of a, a mint type case made of uh, aluminum or tin. You get the nice scroll work at the back again, made in box made in China. And I'll get back to why I keep on highlighting the China aspect later on. So the pen actually came in a sleeve, came with some literature. So basically Coveco has been around for a long time. It has been around and the skyline or rather the Coveco Sport, which was Probably their best known product came out in 1911. Surprising how many products came out in 1911, right? Um, I think Sailors also came out in 1911. I mean, and, and they gave us a, a sticker as well. So putting away the box and everything, let's take a look at the pen. Um, really nothing much. The pen did not come with the clip. I had to buy that separately. As you can see, my pen has kind of developed uh, rust or patina, little dots everywhere. It's supposed to do that. On the cap, it says Caveco Brass Sport. And if I slide the clip back a bit, it says Germany. That's reassuring. Um, so you can see the difference between the area which is covered by the clip and the actual uh, patinaed bit. Um, on the top of the cap, you get Caveco CO, which probably stands for company. Bottom of the, the uh, you just get a little indented spot down here, which I'm not too sure why. Opening up. The, the pen, the inside of the cap probably is lined with some sort of plastic, is my guess, to kind of make it uh, not a metal on metal closing. And then you have the body. There's this little ridge down here, which is meant for you to kind of post easily, I think. And then you can open up the main body this is the original color of the brass that it came with. Um, this is entirely brass, so you can't use this as an eyedropper. It came with a cartridge. I believe this is Coveco Royal Blue. And you have a tiny section down here. By the way, this cartridge is a really short. It's probably a short cartridge. It is international short, if I'm not wrong. Um, and closing this up, you get a tiny, tiny 
nib which is uh, probably made by I mean by Jowo for Caveco. I think the older pens used to be made by Bok and I can't really make out what it says here but uh, there's a Caveco logo and it has the F for fine I believe it says uh, Germany since 1883 if you really look closely and there's a little bit of scroll work again you get the Caveco logo underneath the feet and this is a plastic feet another thing about the Cavecos is that you can actually unscrew uh, the nib just like that which is which is nice um, so before I get into the writing sample let's take a look at this pen versus my original Caveco Sport or rather the classic which I bought a long time ago this pen weighs nothing right it's it's like a it's like air right it's that light this one my goodness it, it is heavy um, but dimensions wise it's exactly the same as the as the classic and the sport nothing nothing different here I just wanted to bring as well my stargazer or my um, Stella 90s which I haven't reviewed yet um, and that kind of complete completes my pocket pen collection at the moment and comparing the, these pens I would be remiss if I did not compare the weights to kind of give you an idea of how weighty this pen is so the Caveco Classic is 12.7 grams the Stargazer with the, com um, with the converter inside is 26.5 grams and if you put the brass board down there it's, f it's nearly double of the Stargazer in terms of weight so I guess the the main thing that I will kind of was wondering is why was it that they had to make this pen so with so much brass and to make it so heavy because this one this pen feels good um, and it's like literally half the weight right so uh, the weight helps in a way when it comes to probably not in the pocket because can you imagine how much weight it is in the pocket uh, with the clip but the weight probably helps when you're writing right because you feel quite a lot of weight down here at the back of the other hand obviously this pen is not it's not usable at least for me this way right so it has to be posted um, balance wise it is pretty much you know, a little bit uh, to the back because maybe because of the clip but it's pretty balanced and when I hold the pen this way uh, it is it is comfortable right albeit a little bit heavy so bringing my paper uh, down here and today I'm really bringing you guys close to the action um, as I mentioned, this is the Coeco Brass Sport, and this is in fine. The ink is actually a Coeco. Might not be royal blue. I'm not too sure which blue, but it's the cartridge that came with the pen. So the nib is pretty smooth. 
um, I didn't have to do anything with it and it it wrote like this I don't I don't feel much feedback or scratchiness which is good it is definitely not uh, it doesn't have any flex whatsoever as you can see the cross lines are about the same uh, thickness as the the lines going up and down um, however it is a it's, it's a workhorse nib you can actually use this for writing um, and probably you know it's it's gonna it's gonna work pretty much every time I haven't really used this pen as I mentioned earlier on in my introduction um, very much it's been just lying in the in my case with the cartridge in there and it writes every time which says something right there are pens that I have where I leave them not even a week in 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 a box or somewhere and then it, it doesn't write after after that week so Coveco definitely has quite a lot of engineering into this pen so bringing back the the China aspect so what do I bring out the you know the box was made in China and all that there is you know I think this pen is fairly popular together with the classic and the skyline and there are tons of clones in the market selling for you know like probably one fifth of, of the price of this pen this pen is fairly expensive costs um, in here in Singapore about the hundred and forty dollar US uh, sorry the hundred and forty or just over a hundred US mark this pen uh, is probably about the 20 20 or 30 dollar US mark and you would kind of question the price that they charge for this pen I mean I know it's brass uh, I'm not sure how much brass is right but for the for the price that you pay for this pen with a steel nib pretty good one you probably could pick up one of these with the gold gold nib so Caveco is to me is definitely about the the design I mean this is a very classic and good design it's probably the smallest pocket pen one of the smallest pocket pens that you could get out there right now and it works for what it was intended right so it's a it's small when it needs to be small right and when it needs to be used to be to for writing right it is pretty good size for pretty much anyone so I mean design wise no complaints only complaint that I would probably have for this pen is the weight um, like I mentioned earlier on I'm not sure why they had to make it that heavy um, and the other one would be the price I mean you know I would still not advocate you buying uh, fake goods or copies of of pens um, however you know it it has to be said that this pen is fairly expensive for what it is so um, would I buy this pen if I lost it or you know something broke on it H highly unlikely right um, being how, how well made this pen is I would probably say no at this point if I wanted a Coveco I would recommend one of these these work perfectly fine the plastic here is durable and it costs like you know way less than than this one uh, not to say it's a bad pen or anything but that's just my viewpoint so um, again you know thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video take care bye bye